Sharif Sheikh Ahmed is considered one of the four top contenders for Somalia's presidency. He held the job just over a decade ago before falling to Hassan Sheikh Mohamud in the 2012 polls. Ahmed has kept a high profile during the two years that political conflict has kept a fresh government from being chosen. ADN TV examines four key areas where Somalis want their next leader to succeed. On security, the former president has plenty of experience. He was in office when Operation Lindenichi swept the Al-Shabaab out of Mogadishu. Ahmed laid the cornerstones for the foundation of Somali security forces. He helped develop the initial relationships with African Union peacekeepers and other international security partners that achieved early success. There was even an anti-piracy initiative that produced excellent results. Altogether, Ahmed is looked upon as having a very strong resume when it comes to fighting al-Shabaab and building Somalia's military capacity. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Ahmed attended a conference in London in February of 2012 where he pushed for funds to rebuild Somalia. And thanks uh, to His Excellency David Cameron. Later in June, at the very end of his regime, he went to another event in Istanbul where he sought reconstruction resources. His efforts at fundraising were not terribly successful. Although he appeared to make a very strong impression on international leaders, Ahmed's efforts to spur economic growth largely went unfulfilled. As the president of the transitional Somali government, he had an opportunity to set an example in terms of keeping a clean house. But many resources were flowing in for security operations, and by all accounts, Ahmed didn't have his own resources to stop pilfering. A United Nations report in 2012 found that out of every $10 received by the federal government, $7 never found its way into the government's coffers. The report went on to say that a quarter of donated funds, $12 million, were absorbed by the nation's top three leaders. Even Ahmed himself seemed to be guilty. This is where the former president shined. A constitution was written under his watch, and it had some lofty goals, including electing 30% women into the legislature. When the first election, after the charter was written, was held, the country chose a new leader, and Ahmed stepped aside without challenging the vote like a true statesman. He will hope that this aspect of his previous leadership will be remembered by those voting on Sunday. ADN TV will continue to report on developments as Somalia completes its national election.